Hello, New York. Are you all right? Woo! In the next five minutes, I'm going to show you something that will save you hours. I, um, we're going to build a very simple application, a very straightforward application. But really, it's not about the application. It's just going to be a hello world application. The magic happens in the way that we build the infrastructure. Now, usually you might build your infrastructure using something like CloudFormation or something like Terraform. But I'm a developer, and I kind of like the, the, the power of a programming language. You know, I've been developing my whole life, and that's what I want to create infrastructure in. So we're going to build using TypeScript today. The actual CDK supports uh, Java, C Sharp, Python, TypeScript, and JavaScript at the moment. And we're going to use TypeScript to firstly create a, um, a VPC. Then we're going to create an ECS cluster. And then we're going to run ECS on Fargate on top of that cluster. And we're going to do it all in TypeScript. But first, we're going to need to install some prerequisite, prerequisites even, to get us started with working with the CDK. So in your IDE, we're going to go into there, and we are going to go into our command line, and we'll say npm install AWS CDK. We're going to install it globally. And this is going to start giving us commands that we can run on our local machine. CDK init app, we're going to choose the language type of TypeScript. So that's going to allow us to start developing our infrastructure in TypeScript. We're going to end up with a skeleton project here that's going to allow me to start building. I'm also going to need a few modules. We're going to be dealing with um, EC2, ECS, and we've got a patterns library for ECS as well. And we can develop with any of the AWS services or, and create any kinds of constructs which are supported by cloud formation using the CDK. So once we've got that stuff set up, we can start defining our infrastructure in TypeScript in this instance. So I go to my TypeScript file, and I import one of those modules, the EC2 module. And on line 8 here, I create what we call a construct for a VPC. So a new EC2 VPC, I give it a name, my app VPC, very original. And you'll see that construct is all I really need to define to create my VPC. The CDK is going to use sensible defaults. So anything that I don't you know, specify, it's going to use sensible defaults for these things. There's one thing that I will specify. And you'll note that I'm in an IDE here. So it's telling me, with code hinting and IntelliSense, exactly what I can do at this stage. Now, I'm interested in that max AZ property, maximum availability zones. And I'm going to save, save that to, set that sorry, to two. And you'll note that that code hinting works on all levels of these constructs. So you don't need to go out to a separate place to get documentation. It can all happen within the, within the IDE. So now we're going to go and deploy that. So we're going to call CDK deploy from the terminal. And it's going to start creating our CloudFormation script and start deploying our application to AWS. So you see my AWS, my VPC is starting up there. And this is a real game changer for me. You know, I've just created a VPC in one line of code. I don't know if I actually would know how to write one of those without looking at the documentation in, in, in CloudFormation. And so it's setting up all the routing, all the subnets, all of the NAT gateways for me. All of that's configured. I didn't specify any of that. But now I have up and running a VPC in which I can work. And now we're going to start creating something inside of that VPC. So we're going to create our ECS cluster. And again, we do a similar dance. We import the ECS module. We require it. And then we uh, use one of these constructs for ECS. And we say we want to create a new cluster. It's going to call my app ECS cluster. We're going to point it at the VPC that we created previously. And in one line of code, we've created a cluster of which is going to sit inside our VPC. Now, we can also run commands to see what the difference between the different steps that I've just made are. So we can call uh, CDK diff. And that will show us the difference. So it just says, OK, we've got a cluster now. So I can do a CDK deploy of that. And now we should start to see our cluster popping up inside of our VPC. So now it's starting to build our application infrastructure. So what are we going to run it on? This is a container-based application. So I'm going to use ECS on Fargate. So I'm going to import one more library. This is an ECS patterns library. And this is a construct, it's a high-level construct, which is creating a load-balanced Fargate service. 
I'm going to give it app uh, Fargate service, and I'll just specify a few properties. The cluster name, or the cluster which I'm going to be connecting it to. The container port that I'm going to be listening on. In this instance, it's port 3000. And then an image that I'm going to, my, where my container lives. Now, I could take an image from Docker Hub or ECR, um, or I can use this from asset, which means that the container's local on my machine. So I'm just going to point it at an app folder on my local machine, which doesn't currently exist. So now we're going to start creating that application. And it's going to be a TypeScript application. This is powerful because my infrastructure is coded in TypeScript, and I'm going to code my application in TypeScript. I'm using the same language throughout my whole, whole development. So I'm going to create a, an application folder, do a little bit of an NPM dance. I'm not actually going to do a dance. And then I'm going to install type, uh, uh, Express, which is a framework for a website in, we're creating websites in Node. And um, I'm going to create a Docker file. Now, this is a plain Docker file. There's nothing special about this Docker file. Um, we're just going to import Node Alpine as the first layer. We're going to run npm install, and then we're going to run, uh, run our TypeScript application, effectively. And we've got the entry point being app.js. So we'll create app.js. It's a simple express application. It's uh, you know, any get request which comes into it, it's going to say, hello world. It's just going to respond, hello world. And it's going to be listening on port 3000 for those get requests as well. So now I've created my app, my hello world application. I've created my base infrastructure. Now, because I've been using local assets there, I've got this local Docker file, I'm going to have to use a thing called CDK Bootstrap. So CDK Bootstrap is just going to upload some of those local assets to S3. And then the CDK will then be able to deploy those assets. So CDK deploy it starts to do a Docker build. It's creating my container. It's bringing up my container. It's doing all the things that it needs to do to create the infrastructure for my ECS uh, on Fargate. It's doing things. It's creating stuff. It's creating ECS flows. The load balancers now come online. Soon my containers will come online. And now users will be able to go to this URL and be able to see my container running on ECS, uh, ECS on Fargate. So if we go to that URL, we see our beautiful Hello World application. It's wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> if, we <t> <laughs> Thank you. if we type CDK synth, we'll get a synthesis of the CloudFormation script that was generated by the CDK, because that's what the CDK does. It takes our code and generates CloudFormation scripts. So we can see we've got our cloud formation, our CDK code there in TypeScript, that few lines of code. It generates over 700 lines of cloud formation script for us. I can take those seven lines, or however many lines there are, I've not counted actually. I could take those and I could wrap them up in a higher level construct, check that into uh, source control, distribute it as a library to the rest of my enterprise. Uh, fellow developers can use that to construct their own infrastructure. We can start to build standards around the way that we construct infrastructure. And the thing I love about this is a few lines of code, I've generated 700 lines of code. That's code I did not have to write. And in my opinion, that's the best kind of code, the code that I do not have to write. Yeah, thank you for that one person. Um, <laughs> if you want to learn more, go to aws.amazon.com forward slash CDK. I've been Martin BB. Thank you very much, New York. Thank <laughs> you.